Hey guys, we're here today to speak on behalf of Zinger, the guy who creates these videos. We wanted to give a huge thank you to everyone who's been here to support him by watching us jerk around. We just wrapped up the first season of our talk show, and we couldn't be more grateful for the love and attention it has received from all of you. Over 16,000 people have subscribed to this channel for this series alone. In celebration, Zenjur has put together a compilation of all his favorite moments and jokes from the season into this video. Of course, the entire series is still available in a playlist on the channel, so if you don't want to miss anything, go check that out! And one more thing before we start, we should mention Zenger has a Patreon where you can support him. If just 1,000 of you guys went and pledged to the lowest $1 tier, he'd be able to focus on creating videos like this full time. So please support him if you love watching us jerk around. Why do you have to keep saying jerk around? Nobody is jerking anything. Are you sure about that, Snips? Are you sure? Uh, let's just get into the compilation, shall we? Anakin, I heard you got into a lightsaber duel with Count Dooku. Yeah, but he had the high ground. Oh, well, it's a miracle you're still alive. Another successful mission, bringing peace to the galaxy. And by peace, you just mean fixing another one of your royal fuck-ups? Correction, one of our royal fuck-ups. This was a team effort. Yeah, except some blame yourself, Master. Ah, I'm requesting that they stop giving me missions with you two. I don't know why the Jedi Council won't let me have a side hustle. I could be making so much extra money as a pod racer or a space DJ. You see what I have to deal with? Ten years of this shit. So, what are you spending so much time with Quinlan for lately? I thought you had a thing for Satin. Believe it or not, I'm by. By yourself. I'm gonna leave now. What the hell happened here? Uh, in my defense, I was left unsupervised. Wasn't Anakin with you? In my defense, I was also left unsupervised. Ugh, I think I'm going to try those death sticks now. Just tell me what happened. Okay, but you have to promise not to get mad. What happened? I was just minding my own business. Bullshit. I was! I hate sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. That's not true. Sometimes I deal in gray areas. Okay, look, let's just agree to all say sorry at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. I'm sorry that I have to put up with you. Same here. Now, see, I'm just disappointed in all of us. Ugh, I feel like I'm so old. You're supposed to say, but you're not old, master. But you are old. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Don't underestimate my power. Are you dumb? Or just fucking special. I've been training you for 13 long-ass years, and you still think having some sort of magical bullshit power is gonna save your three little bitch limbs when I chop you up like Darth Maul. Not only am I more skilled than you, I am on the motherfucking high ground. Have you ever read The Art of War? It says in bold, do not fuck with the high ground Anakin. This is honestly the reason why you're not a Jedi Master. You're legitimately dumber than sand, and more of a whiny emotional shit than your unborn grandson Kylo. Also, you were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. Hey, Obi-Wan, knock knock. No, Anakin, I'm not doing this again. Come on, Master, humor me. Every time you tell me one of your knock knock jokes, it's just to make me feel old and out of touch. Pretty please, with a cherry on top? Ugh, I'm going to regret this. Fine, who's there? Ewan. Ewan who? You underestimate my power! What? I don't get it. Anakin, seriously, tell me, what does it mean? You know what you have to say. Ugh, oh, fine. I'm old and out of touch for your humor. Now just tell me! It means you and suck on D's nuts! This is why you're not a Jedi Master. Everyone was asking us to bring in more people. Just the three of us is nice and all, but... We don't need anyone else. We're perfectly fine, just the three of us. Three amigos, three best friends. Take a seat, young Skywalker. Oh, no. Please, anyone but you. Compose yourself, Anakin. Master Windu is a very well-respected member of the Jedi Council. You're welcome to join us, Master. Thank you, Master Kenobi. It's only proper that there are three Jedi in the group. Excluding the citizen, of course. I'm on Anakin's side with this one. Everyone here is a clown. Including yourself. At this rate? Yeah. Anyone want to take bets on how many Jedi Code violations our pal Skywalker has committed so far? I'm sure it's more than I want to know about. Oh, come on, Master. It can't be that bad. I'm gonna guess. 34. 
Oh, please, you don't even know what you're talking about. Obi-Wan, you got a guess? If we're talking since he started as my Padawan, I'm going to go with at least 200. Hey, Sky Guy is crazy, but he's not that crazy. Skywalker, you got any guesses? I'm going to guess five, but only because I know you'll be unfairly counting those mistakes I made on Batu. You're all wrong. I've counted at least 328 just since the Clone Wars started. You're so full of shit, Windu. List them all. One, using the Force to play pranks on your troops, such as tripping them or making their helmets fly off during battle. Two, using Jedi mind tricks to get out of doing your chores at the Jedi Temple. Three, secretly feeding treats to the Lothcat in the temple basement we've been trying to get rid of. Four, ignoring the no attachment rule by constantly texting Padme during... Okay, okay, yeah, I get it. I didn't know you were counting those as violations. Strike first? Sounds like you're taking a page out of Anakin's book. I'm just trying to think outside the box. For what it's worth, Obi-Wan, I think it's an excellent plan. Uh, okay, on second thought, I'm not sure we should use this plan. Uh, Master Windu, why are you always so harsh on Master Kenobi and Master Skywalker? Oh, uh, okay. So, one time, when Anakin was like 12, they went on a diplomatic mission after he got his first lightsaber. It went south, and they went missing. For over two months. We all thought they were dead, and in the end, Master Haley found them in on a month-long oceanic cruise on Naboo. Neither they, nor the Queen of Naboo, who was with them on her yearly vacation, thought to tell me. So, whenever I get warm feelings about them in my chest, I remember this one incident in a long-ass 20-year chunk of my life that's full of panic and worry over either of their fucking asses, and I have to hold myself back from killing them. It tests my patience. Oh, so like, you love them so much you want to drown them before they can annoy you one more time? Yes. All right, all right. Maybe you guys won't give me the rank of Jedi Master. But I can do something you can't. And I don't need to be a Jedi Master. Just because the prophecies say you may be the chosen one doesn't mean that... I can get bitches. Yeah, what's wrong, Master? No bitches? I hate it when he does this. Trust me. I know these guys. I know everything about them. You're a poor Jedi if you think people can't surprise you. Not these people. Here, watch this. I know what everyone's going to do tonight. It's Tong's Day, so Ahsoka's going to leave early to practice with her Padawan Saber group. They're the nightmares of the temple. Padme's going to be going over her new bill proposal, and Rex will be running a How to Handle Your Jedi seminar. So it's just you, me, and Obi-Wan? Yep, and he'll be coming through the door any second now. And if I run and leap at him, I bet he will most certainly catch me in his arms. There he is, coming in. Whoa, whoa, Anakin, no, I'm holding- Ugh, only you three can turn a simple Tongs Day meditation into an intergalactic incident. Hey, I wanted to get Padme in on this instead of you. But no, we had to get the cranky old Obamacare-looking motherfucker in on this. Whoa, Anakin, relax. Remember, behave yourself. It's okay, Master Kenobi. Skywalker has all that pent-up small dick energy stored up from disappointing his little senator wife. That's right, motherfucker. I know all about your secret love affair. You lack control of your emotions. You're reckless and prone to violence. He won't be a master till he learns that the Jedi aren't warriors. We're peacekeepers. Excuse me? Are you really sure you want to go down that route, Master Milk Dud? Anakin knows more than anyone else that we're peacekeepers more than warriors. He could have given up being a Jedi a long time ago to be a general or something instead. Specifically because he disagrees with how we conduct wars. But he stuck with us instead. I know Anakin more than anyone else. And I trust him with my life. I believe he should take a seat on this council. In fact, he should take your seat. You dogmatic piece of greedy-ass purple blade wanting shit. Guys, we're supposed to be friends here, right? Shut the fuck up, citizen. You may have gotten off free on all those charges of treason, but we both know your dumb orange ass had something to do with it. I should have sent you all off on a suicide mission when I had the chance. That's it! You can talk trash about me all day, Master Window, but you start talking about my little sister and we got a problem. What are you going to do? Stab me? Uh, did you have to do that? You heard what he said? What a nightmare! What are we going to do with the body? I have some experience with this sort of thing. I sense a disturbance in the Force. Sorry, Master. I had beans for lunch. Anakin, please, this is a serious matter. Sorry, Master. I didn't mean to disrupt the Force. You didn't disrupt anything, you blasted idiot. Focus. I'm gonna go... cool off before our guest arrives. You guys go ahead and introduce her. I just hope we don't have to evacuate the entire temple this time. 
Oh, fort, I feel it coming. All right, I'm back. Got it all out. You should have seen the size of it. it might be a world record. Gross, Anakin. Oh, I'm so sorry, milady. I didn't realize you were... Blasted, Anakin? What did you do back there? I guess we're going to have to evacuate the temple after all. Padme! What? Anakin? Is everything all right? You look distressed. Padme, would you still love me if I was a worm? You're lucky I love you as a human. The moon looks beautiful, doesn't it? Yeah, but do you know what's more beautiful? Oh, Anakin, that's... Obi-Wan, I've never seen a more perfect specimen. I still have no idea how I'm attracted to you. Yeah, well, you're stuck with me. And no take-backs, honey. Padme isn't answering her comm. I'm getting worried. I'll call. Ahsoka and I have both tried six times each. What makes you think... Hello? Wrong number. Ahsoka, can I have a quick word with you? Of course, Padme. What's up? I'm... I'm in love with him. Anakin. Anakin? My Jedi Master? Yeah. Good to get it off my chest. Thoughts? And prayers. All right. We need to address the elephant in the room. Elephant? Where? I don't see it. Not an actual elephant, Annie. He means there's something he wants to talk about. Oh, of course, my love. I mean, my lady. <laughs> Thank you for, uh, helping me understand. Yes, I'm talking about this. Anakin, Padme, we know you two are, well, to put it lightly, we know you two are engaged romantically, okay? Whoa, what? What are you talking about? Yeah, me and Padme? I mean, like, yeah, I could totally see why you could think we'd make a good couple, but... Good couple? No, not at all. We're, like, totally not good for each other. He's also, like, so not my type. Oh, uh, right, yeah, like, wait, what? What do you mean I'm not your type? Oh, you know, it's just, I like guys with, uh, with hands. Hands? But I do have a hand. Can you two stop arguing like a married couple for five seconds? This is what Master Kenobi is talking about. You two are so obviously fucking. Ahsoka, have you seen Anakin's lightsaber anywhere? Last time I saw it, he was using it to scratch his ass. I did not need to hear that. Anakin, I'm worried about you. You've been acting so impulsive lately. Sorry, Padme. I think I should go meditate to clear my mind. That's a good idea, Anakin. You could use some fucking clarity. Master Obi-Wan, really? I think we all know what he meant, Ahsoka. Ahsoka, help me out here. Can you tell me what I did wrong? If you tell me what happened, maybe. So, when are you going to go out with me? I don't know. When are you going to ask me? Uh... So you just ran away from her? I wasn't expecting her to flirt back! The Jedi Council gave me a bunch of Camtonos to help me pack up supplies for our mission, but I have no idea what to put in them. Any suggestions? Put spaghetti in it. I'm currently taking suggestions from everyone but you. Put spaghetti in it. Okay, I am currently taking suggestions from everyone but you two. Put spaghetti in it. I was hoping I wouldn't have to be the only adult here anymore, but clearly you two are a bad influence on the senator. So you're not putting spaghetti in it? No more suggestions! Hey, Anakin, can I get some dating advice? Just because I'm with Padme doesn't mean I know how I did it. Believe me, I don't know how you pulled her either. Maybe I can help Ahsoka? Sure. So, I'm just wondering how you figured out Anakin liked you. There's this guy, but I don't know if there are feelings or if I'm imagining it. Yeah, we really don't need to go there. Basically, he just kept ignoring me when I asked him to stop staring at me, hinting that he believes dictatorships are supreme to democracy. And eventually he confessed that he murdered a bunch of innocent women and children. I knew right then that I loved him. Oh, Kay? All right, you two. I've noticed some tensions in your relationship lately, so I thought it would be good to start some marriage counseling. I'm just here to mediate. You two should just say what's on your mind. Right, well, Padme, you know I love you and all, but sometimes I think you can be a bit overbearing. Overbearing? Anakin, you're constantly putting yourself and others in danger with your reckless behavior. I'm not sorry that I have an opinion on the matter. You need to fix this right now or it's over between us. Let's not get hasty now, Anakin. Do you have something you'd like to say? I swear, sometimes, Padme, you can be so frustrating, so stubborn and set in your ways. You think you know what's best for everyone and you never listen to anyone else's opinion. Sure, I can be a bit reckless sometimes, but that doesn't give you the right to suffocate me. You don't trust me to make my own decisions, and you're always second-guessing me. I can't take it anymore. I feel like I'm walking on fucking eggshells around you all the time. 
And whenever I try to assert myself or stand up for what I believe in, you just shoot me down and tell me I'm being unreasonable. That's enough! I've had about enough of your shit, Anakin. So stubborn and impulsive, always doing whatever you want without thinking of the consequences. You think you're a bit reckless. Try completely reckless. You don't care about anything or anyone except for your own desires. And when you don't get what you want, you throw a fucking temper tantrum and kill a bunch of innocent people. You're like a ticking time bomb, ready to explode at any moment. And don't even get me started on your jealousy issues, you possessive, paranoid, whiny little- Anakin, stop! You turned her against me! That's not what- Let her go, Anakin! Oh, not again. Congratulations, you just proved her point. What have I done? You killed our guest again. She's not dead, at least not yet. I'll go take her to get help. Anakin, you think about what you've just done. Sorry, guys, I guess I just tapped into the dark side for a minute. That makes it okay, right? If I'm using the dark side, that means my evil actions aren't my own, and everyone will still love me anyway, right? Technically, yes. That's the unspoken rule of the galaxy. Anakin, you're sleeping on the couch tonight. Oh, don't worry, Sky Guy. I'm sure she'll be fine. Well, I'm back from the hospital. Padme is dead. What? No! How can that be? They say she died of a broken heart. There has to be a way to bring her back, though, right? There, there, Anakin. We'll get you cheered up. You know the Force doesn't work like that, Anakin. Besides, we have more pressing matters to attend to. Like what, Master Kenobi? The Supreme Chancellor has requested to join us for our next video. Chancellor Palpatine is coming? I suppose that could cheer me up. He's a good man, you know. Yes, we know. Padme told me all about how you accidentally sent her a love letter that was addressed to him. Hey guys, did you know that Yoda's last name is Leihi Hu? I don't think that's correct, Ahsoka. Yoda doesn't have a last name. Actually, I heard that Yoda's last name is Swagmaster. Please, you two, can we just have a normal conversation for once? Especially in the presence of such esteemed company. Oh, I don't mind, Master Kenobi. Young minds are always so interesting. Besides, I think Master Yoda's last name is actually Greenbean. You realize that Yoda is a Jedi Master, not a vegetable, right? I'm pretty sure he was joking, Sky Guy. I'll just add, can't understand basic humor to my list of reasons Anakin isn't a Jedi Master. Hey, I understand humor just fine. It's you who- Now, now let's not argue. Anakin, I think you have great potential. In fact, I could see you becoming a Sith Lord someday. Uh, what? I don't think that's what I want. Did you just say Sith Lord? Oh, silly me. My apologies. Obviously, I meant Jedi Master. See, Chancellor Palpatine, this is exactly why I've been so uncomfortable with you grooming Anakin. Guys, why hasn't Rex joined us for a video yet? He's not been feeling great, but I'll get him on call for you real quick. Hello. Rex, buddy, how are you feeling? To be honest, not great, General. Me and the boys have had a headache all week. You sound droidish. You sure you don't need any help? Get some rest, Captain. And if you see Cody, please tell him he left his underwear at my place. He was. Uh, washing it, because the Republic's machines were, uh, broken down. I'll let him know, and we'll be all right, General. Thanks for checking in. Anakin, have I ever told you the tragedy of Darth Plagueis, the wise? Only like three times a week for the past year and a half. Well, it's a good story. Have you heard it, Ahsoka? Anakin's told me once or twice. Why? Now, what's with the disrespectful attitude? This is a serious story. I've heard it countless times. Master Yoda taught it to me as a youngling. Now how is that possible? I didn't kill Darth Plagueis until well into your... Oh, excuse me, I mean, uh, the Sith Lord didn't die until you became uh, a Jedi Knight. The Force works in mysterious ways, Chancellor. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Oh, of course not. Thanks for your uh, wise advice, my good friend. You're such a smart and intelligent young man. Is it just me, or is the dick riding here getting a bit... Annoying. Karaoke? Really, Anakin? I can't imagine you being much of a singer. Hey, I'll have you know I have a killer rendition of I Will Survive. And don't forget my classic performance of Bothanian Rhapsody. I prefer Smells Like Twi'lek Spirit myself. Well, I'm glad to hear it. It's important to enjoy life, even when you're fighting a war. Sometimes you just have to let loose and party like it's the end of the galaxy. You may not realize how soon it's coming. Chancellor, I had some downtime recently, and I was reading through some of these executive orders you can give to our troopers. There's Order 23, mandating a three-hour nap for all troops. Weird. Then I see Order 47. All troopers must switch to a vegetarian diet. Seems legit. And then the most concerning one, Order 66 is killing all the Jedi. Anything to say about that? 
Oh, stop worrying, Master Kenobi. The clones are loyal soldiers who have served the Republic well. It's just a precautionary measure. Yeah, Master. Didn't you see there's also an order to eliminate the Chancellor himself? Oh, I saw it, but the order can only come from Palpatine. I doubt he'll be ordering his troopers to shoot at him on sight. You worry too much, Master? Chancellor, can you use one of those orders right now, just for fun? Of course, my dear boy. Padawan, would you be so kind as to call up your captain again? Uh, sure. This is kind of weirding me out. Commander Tano, what's up? Execute Order 99. You want the entire army to engage in a game of Twister? I don't believe I stuttered, Captain. Anakin, I may have a way for you to save the life of your beloved Padme, but you must listen to me completely. I would do anything, sir. Please tell me. So, for starters, you gotta turn to the dark side. Got it. And you'll have to murder a bunch of younglings. Makes sense. And betray the Jedi Order. Consider it done. And also, you'll probably have to kill Obi-Wan. Can someone else handle that? I'll be pretty busy with the other stuff. Just forget it. We'll handle your turning to the dark side shit later. My plan isn't in motion for that yet anyway. Come with me. I'll show you how to get Padme back. Fine, who's there? Uh, where are we? And what happened to the blurred Battlefront 2 gameplay in the background? Don't be meta, Anakin. Nobody likes that. This is the world between worlds. You can see any moment in time, past, present, or future. Here you can save Padme. Whoa, how do you know about this place? Isn't it obvious? I've been dropping hints like fucking crazy for the last ten years. I'm the Sith Lord. I am Darth Sidious. I only ask one thing. When you enter, you must bring me with you. If you're a Sith Lord, then I can't trust you. Anakin, please, I need your help to do this. None of this is canon. Just do it for the meme. I thought you said nobody likes it when we're being meta. Would you just shut up and jump? I see her! Padme, can you hear me? <laughs> what are you laughing about? You idiot, I no longer have a need for you. Here, I can be the most powerful being in the galaxy. Nate, the universe! Not if we have anything to say about it. Obi-Wan, Ahsoka, when did you guys get here? Plot armor, Sky Guy, don't think about it too hard. What is this place? Don't worry about it. What are you doing? Stop that at once. Thanks for the rescue, Master Kenobi. Anakin, you saved me. Thank you, my love. Anything for you, my dear. Now let's destroy this Sith once and for all. You gotta be joking, bruh. Excellent job, Anakin. For once, I agree. Anakin, you've done a great job. The Sith Lord is dead, and you have earned my trust. So, no hard feelings, then? You're not mad that I killed you in cold blood a few weeks ago? Technically, that never happened for me. Obi-Wan pulled me out right before. All right, it's over. Can we get back to making stupid conversations now? I tried my new stand-up comedy routine in front of the clones, and not a single one of them laughed. I have to perform at the temple tomorrow night. If it were my act, I'd probably drop all the jokes about Jedi and clones being involved intimately. Actually, Commander Cody laughed pretty hard at one of those. There's potential. Uh, right. Well, Anakin, maybe you should steer away from making suggestive jokes from here on anyway. That's like 99% of my act, Master. And the other 1% is about how weird you think aliens are. Yeah, it's no wonder you bombed. Oh, hey, that reminds me. You guys gotta hear my new joke about this clone trooper and a Twi'lek dancer. I'm not really in the mood for another one of your oddly specific and racist jokes, Anakin. It's not racist if it's true. Nice to see you here, Ayla. The idea is basically that we talk about random crap for a while until someone dies. Do people tend to... die? On your show? I apologize. I'm not familiar with it. I'm just here on request from Ahsoka. Nobody is dying. We got all that out of Anakin's system last time, right? <sighs> I'm not sure how we'll find a natural end to the video without an untimely death, but sure, let's just say nobody will die this time. Is this what your idea of a joke is? You'll have to forgive him for his constant out-of-pocket remarks. Boobies! Straight to horny jail, Anakin. I am going to regret this, aren't I? Most likely, yes. You know, I wish Master Windu would start assigning me to some missions that don't suck so much ass. I get what you mean, Anakin. Diplomatic missions are so boring. Well, it's important to maintain good relations with the neutral systems. Yeah, we don't want them to join the Separatists over some stupid misunderstanding. Sure, but we've already fucked up like two missions like this. Third time's the charm. Maybe if we fail this time, Master Windu will let you blow some shit up. How is your captain doing, Skywalker? 
I heard from Bly that he and a few of the other 500 first clones were feeling sick. Oh yeah, he's good. Just still recovering. Uh, are you engaged in a relationship with him as well? Uh, what do you mean? Well, judging by all your stand-up jokes about Cody and Obi-Wan, I figured you had some hand-on experience. Oh, you listen to my comedy. That's awesome. But it's all fiction. Obi-Wan swears he isn't in a relationship with Cody. I'm not. I promise he was just doing laundry. Oh, well, I guess my relationship with Bly is unique. With Bly, your clone commander? Oh, uh, yes. Is something wrong about that? I guess not. It's just, I'm surprised Anakin's jokes aren't completely inaccurate. What can I say? I do my research, snips, and also Obi-Wan is totally lying. He definitely takes it up the ass. Guys, how long do you think you could last in a staring contest? I could go all day, snips. Bring it on. I'm putting my money on Ahsoka. I've seen Anakin blink uncontrollably just at the mention of sand. Not this time, Master. I'm focused. All I gotta do is stare at her nose instead of her eyes. Sand. Ah! Where? Wait a minute. No fair. Looks like Ahsoka wins. It's not my fault. It's hard for me to perform under pressure. Top ten things Anakin said on his wedding night. Call me crazy, but I prefer a diplomatic mission over running into that crazy, horny, banshee-looking Sith assassin every day. I've not had the pleasure of meeting Ventress. I assume our troops would be too overwhelmed by two overtly sexy Force users in the same room. That would make sense. Master Windu wouldn't want anyone having too much fun on a mission. I must say, Ayla, your outfit is very unique for a Jedi. Thank you, Obi-Wan. I like to stand out from the crowd. Yeah, that's one way to put it. I think your outfit would make even the most flamboyant smuggler jealous. Anakin, be nice. He does have a point, Ayla. It's not exactly what one would expect from a Jedi. Oh, come on, guys. You're just jealous you can't pull off a look like mine. Maybe the guys can't, but I was dressing in a skimpy little outfit like yours at just 14. Again, nobody seeing anything wrong with this? Relax, Anakin. I'm sure it'll be a funny story I can tell your son one day. So no problem with Ahsoka's Padawan fit. But you're stuck up about Ayla's dress code? You really are a boomer. And you really are a pain in my ass, Anakin, but you don't see me insulting you every five seconds, do you? Grow the hell up! Jeez, hit a nerve there, I guess. So guys, I just realized that we have access to the world between worlds. You think we could bring some guests from other time periods on our show? Oh, yes, because having guests from other time periods won't disrupt the fabric of the space-time continuum at all. I think it could make for an interesting episode, but who would you invite? Well, we could bring in Yoda from his younger days. I'm sure he'd have some great stories to share. We could just invite Master Yoda as he is now. It's not like he's forgotten anything from his time in the High Republic. I was thinking about a young Obi-Wan before he became so old and boring. It's also a bit too dangerous to go looking around in there. It's best we just forget about it, I think. That's a pretty convenient plot device to have just lying around. Exactly my thoughts! Heads up, Ayla! <laughs> Anakin! What the actual fuck? What do you mean? The video was getting too long and we needed to end it. Not by killing the guest again. What is wrong with you? A lot of things. But stop worrying so much. Obi-Wan can just go pull her out of the world between worlds like nothing happened. I guess that works. Thoughts, Master Kenobi? I got to admit, that's a pretty funny idea, Anakin. I'll go get her. You said yourself. It's a nice break from all our Jedi responsibilities. It is, but we've invited so many people to be a guest and they keep canceling on us. Maybe it's because of all the murder? Well, that would do it. Anakin does seem really trigger-happy with that lightsaber of his. Master Yoda, Master Plo, Captain Rex, Commander Cody, and now even Hondo has called it off. We're going to have to do a show without a guest now. We can't do that again. Last time it was just the three of us. Master Kenobi had to go to the hospital. Never in my life have I had a more intense migraine than I did on that day. Well, what do you guys suggest? Because I'm out of ideas. You said it yourself last time. Now that we have access to the world between worlds, we can grab anyone from any time and force them to be on our show. Ignoring the ethical problems associated with that suggestion, I agree. I can't stand to make another video with just you two bantha brains. Go ahead. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name's Cal. Cal Kestis. What's going on? Cal Kestis, you've been chosen to be on the greatest video series this side of the mid-rim. By the way, Ahsoka, who the hell is this guy? Looks like he was fighting a Sith Lord or something, so he's definitely a Jedi from the past or the future. What's your story, dude? I was fighting an Inquisitor. You know, those Imperial guys who've been hunting the Jedi since the Purge? The Purge? Oh, dear. Ahsoka, I think you've plucked a Jedi from the future. Sorry, Master Kenobi. I know you said no future guests, but I couldn't help it. I guess we're going to have to rebrand the series since we're no longer in the Clone Wars.
Oh, sorry, BD. I forgot to introduce you. You're right. I'm sorry, buddy. I won't forget next time. It's nice to meet you, BD. Yeah, and sorry about pulling you out of your time to shoot the shit with us. We'll put you back when we're done. Master Tapal said he went on a mission with you once, Anakin. Do you remember that? Yeah, he had a bigger stick up his ass than Master Kenobi. Please excuse Anakin. He's been kind of a jerk recently. You said your master was Tapal? Like, Jaro Tapal, the Lasat general? Yeah, did you know him? Not personally, but when I was a youngling, I kind of hoped he would choose me as a Padawan someday. I guess you were the lucky winner. Yeah, he was pretty great. But you got the legendary Anakin Skywalker as a master. Everyone was jealous of that one. Eh, sometimes I feel like he cares more about Padme than he does about me. You're not the one who gives me bedtime kisses. No, that would be me. Not that you ever bothered to return the favor. Obi-Wan, you know I love you, but that beard would make it kind of rough. I'm not talking about a kiss on the lips, you blasted idiot. Just like a kissing the homies goodnight sort of thing. Well, I can understand why that would bother you, Ahsoka, but trust me, you're an amazing Jedi in your own right. You don't need Anakin's validation to know that. It took me long enough to find trust in myself. Thanks, Cal. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Why can't we just have a wholesome relationship like these two, Master? Am I not good enough for you? All I wanted was one goodnight kiss. What are we even supposed to talk about? <laughs> BD, you are the funniest fucker I've ever met. You'd give R2 a run for his money. He's only the most legendary droid to ever exist. I'm surprised you haven't heard of him. You must be from the past. Or maybe he's just a droid and you're full of yourself, as usual. Oh, come on. Don't be such a stick in the mud, master. I'm already feeling a migraine incoming. No offense, Cal. But I think having you on as a guest is stressing me out more so than if I'd just done the show with these two morons. I'll kill Obi-Wan before I step another foot on Tatooine. Well, that's reassuring. I think I'd rather kill Obi-Wan than hear Anakin speak again. So much out-of-pocket shit coming out of that mouth of his today. I think I'd rather kill Obi-Wan than have to finish this video. Jeez, and I thought I was depressed, huh, BD? Cal, when we're done with this video, I'm gonna seek you out in our time and give you a high five. That would actually mean a lot to me. Every Padawan looked up to you a great deal. You speak of me like I'm in the past. I know I'm not supposed to know, but do I die? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Everything was so unclear. Your presence does seem familiar, though. Probably just a trick of the Force, huh, Cal? Anakin's got one of those Force faces. You know, like if you see someone you recognize, but you don't know them, and they just got a recognizable face. That's me, but with my alpha male energy. I don't know why, but hearing Anakin say alpha male energy makes me want to violently throw something at him. I might just shave my head and get arrested for human trafficking while I'm at it. Oh, he's just being meta again. Shut the fuck up, Anakin. I'm starting to think the purge was a good thing. What was that, Cal? Nothing. I've also fought this crazy frog thing. BD called it an Ogdo. Wait, you aren't talking about Ogdo Bogdo, are you? Yeah, that was the full name. How do you know it? My, that was the name I gave to my beloved Ogdo pet when I was a youngling. Master Qui-Gon told me it ran away. You had a pet Ogdo, Master Kenobi? You don't strike me as the pet-keeping type. Oh no, Obi-Wan definitely has a pet boner for this type of thing. Uh, maybe that wasn't the right word. Definitely not, Anakin. Don't make me call Padme and tell her about all the bad words you've been using. Oh, you can fucking tell her all right, bitch. I love it when she punishes me for saying naughty words. Ew, Master. Don't say things like that in front of the guest. Oh, it's okay. BD says shit like that all the time. <coughs> See? Cal, you must tell me where my beloved Ogdo is. I must know he's safe. I'm sorry, Master, but I killed him. Took me like 20 tries, but I did it. 20 tries? What does that mean? Sounds like you're on story mode, loser. Cal, seriously, I don't care about spoilers anymore. Just tell me where I can find him. Uh, well, if you're really from my past, then you can check in with Master Cordova. He might help you. All right, Cal, it was a pleasure making your acquaintance. Actually, before you go, Cal, one last thing. <laughs> ah! What the hell? Holy shit, you killed Anakin. He attacked me first. It's not my fault. Believe me, he had this coming. We're not mad at you. Oh, well, thanks for the save, Beatty. I am never going to let him live this down. But... I killed him. Why do you say that like it's no big deal? Because we'll just pull him out of the world between worlds like we got you. No big deal. He should really be back by now. I guess he found trouble. I shouldn't even be surprised. All right, I'm back, guys. And check out who I brought. Obi-Wan Kenobi. 
At last I find you. Uh, Anakin, who the hell is this? Your worst nightmare. Whoa, dude, relax. We're all friends here. You were a fool to bring me here. Maybe, but you've got, like, the coolest outfit I've ever seen. Anakin, he's a Sith. You see the red lightsaber? You sense the cold air around him? What were you thinking? Relax, Snips. I'm the chosen one. If this dude tries anything funny, I'll just gut him like a tauntaun on Hoth. You will try, but I know your every move, Skywalker. Not only did he just try to kill me, but he knows you, too. I don't know who this blasted nerf herder is. Clearly, you brought on another guest from the future, and I won't have it. I told you, no more. The fabric of reality is shaky enough. On the contrary, Obi-Wan. You will have me on your show. And why would that be, Mr. Uh, who are you? I am Darth Vader. But you may know me better as Anakin Skywalker. Uh, what? You were a fool. You were weak. And you were unable to save Padme. And you doomed the entire galaxy in your greed and lust for power. Yeah, that sounds pretty on point, to be honest. I get it. So, as a Sith, do I get to do any cool Sith powers? Oh, and is it true that the dark side has cookies? Yes to both, actually. And the cookies are fucking delicious. And I turn to the dark side again just for those. Can't wait, bro. This right here is the start of a beautiful bromance. I can sense it. Ahsoka, I think I'm having a panic attack. It's okay, Master. Anakin and I will sort it all out. That's what worries me. Yo, dudes. Sorry to bother you, but this guy is such a buzzkill. I can't be around him alone much longer. I'm not a buzzkill. If anything, you, Skywalker, are the buzzkill. Your mom is a buzzkill. We have the same mother, dumbass. Anakin, I don't think it's a good idea to bring him in here. Obi-Wan is going to have a heart attack. Obi-Wan is just allergic to fun. I'm just the only one being reasonable. Anakin, you turn into a motherfucking Sith Lord. And you expect me to not be freaking out? Oh, Force, what am I gonna do with you? So what happened to my hair after Obi-Wan? Well, after he left me to die. Was it safe? Was it all right? All the chemicals you put into your hair to keep it looking like a beautiful wampa's mane caught fire so fast, it all burned off. That was the real tragedy. Obi-Wan, can you promise not to leave me to die slowly in a fire? What kind of a question is that? A serious one. Yes, Anakin. As long as you don't turn into, well, this. I won't leave you to die in a fire. Hey, Darth. Maybe instead of killing Obi-Wan, you just burn off his hair. As payback. That sounds like an excellent start. If I ever see you again, Obi-Wan, that's exactly what I'll try first. We shall see how you like being burned alive. Just a reminder, Vader. I'm not the Obi-Wan that did this to you. Maybe take it out on that one? I'll take it out on whoever I damn well please, bitch. Women, children, Rodians, huts, it doesn't matter. I will cut down anything in my path. My hatred for you fuels my entire will to live. So, Darth Vader, did any of my personality survive in there? Anakin Skywalker is dead. I am what remains. Yeah, you said that. I'm just wondering if other things survived, you know? Like my intense hatred for sand. Because if you still hate sand, then we can be cool. Oh, for fuck's sake. Did I really bring this up all the time? No wonder you all hated me. Come on, Darth. Surely there's more to it than sand, like meditation. I love to meditate. No, you like to meditate in a room alone with Padme while Captain Rex stands guard. That's why I always refuse to meditate with Anakin. It's not that big of a deal, Snips. Trust me, you dodged a bullet, girl. Yes, we all know not to meditate with Anakin. You can meditate these nuts, Master. I will call Padme. Please do. I would love a good spanking right about now. Oh, I spoke with her. No more spankings anymore. Now it's sand baths. I hate you! Wait, you killed the Emperor? How is this possible? Uh, I don't know, dude. None of this is canon anyway. Who cares? Well, the world between worlds isn't time travel. We're simply creating new timelines every time we mess with it. Does that mean that everyone I've killed in previous shows is still dead in their own timeline? Yes, Anakin, but who cares? Not our problem. Then my actions will not be erased on this day. If I were to say kill Obi-Wan right now? How about we don't try and find out, okay? Anakin, I think our guest has overstayed his welcome. Well, Anakin, aren't you gonna, you know, do your thing? Nope, I'm a changed man. No more killing for me. Not to worry, bro. I will do the killing for you. You called me bro.
I've never been more happy in my entire life. Anakin, you need to see a therapist. Desperately. No, no you. Right. Well, I hope you're happy with yourself. Go put your alter ego back in the world between worlds. I guess I'm stuck giving Obi-Wan a proper burial. Anakin, do you ever comb your hair? What do you mean, Master? I take pride in how much effort I put into my hair fashion. Nice try dodging the question, Sky Guy, but it always looks like a Gundark's nest to me. Yeah, and how would you know? You don't even have hair. If I did, I'd sure take better care of it than you do. Clearly, you need to learn from the best, Anakin. And of course, as usual, the best is me. Oh no, I'm not taking any hairstyle advice from you. Well, why not? I literally win the best hair award every year in the Temple Yearbook. For the past 15 years, in fact, and I take pride in it. Anakin's still in shock from that time you shaved your head and beard, Master. And to be honest, so am I. That was a one-time thing, and it was for a mission. Tell that to my nightmares. Oh, my force. It's Master Qui-Gon. Sir, it's... it's so good to see you. Master Kenobi has told me much about you, Master. It's an honor. They don't seem so bad, Obi-Wan. Don't speak so soon. They'll show their colors any moment now. What's that supposed to mean? Did you tell Master Qui-Gon that we've been naughty? That we're in need of a spanking? Sorry about him. He's been going through withdrawals since Padme stopped punishing him with spankings. Please, Master, just one tap on my bottom. Just one. Told you. That you did, Obi-Wan. It seems we have much work to do. If we're going to fix them, we'll need to work together. Yes, it's good you came to me with this, Obi-Wan. We'll do the same thing I did to you when you were their age. Wait, you did this sort of thing to me? Well, yes. How else was I supposed to get you to stop talking about Satine's feet? Uh, okay, moving on. Anakin, Ahsoka, I must tell you firstly that I love you both immensely and I- Hold on. Are we really just going to gloss over Obi-Wan's foot fetish? Yes. Now, kids, Master Qui-Gon and I are going to be performing a series of interviews with you two, and we are going to try and use the Force to manipulate and fix the defects in your brains. What's wrong with our brains, Master? Put simply, young one, you are fucking weird. I want to try something. Anakin, tell us how you feel about sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. But it's also the foundation of life on Tatooine. What's wrong with sand? Absolutely nothing. It's a perfectly normal aspect of nature. It's what I grew up on, and it's where I hope to be buried one day when I die. Master Qui-Gon, this power is too powerful to be true. Where did you learn this? There were many tricks I learned while studying the Force, Obi-Wan. I wish I had the time to teach you them all before I fell to Darth Maul. Yes. Well, I saved you from that fate. You don't have to go back. You can stay right here and help me prepare these two for the future. I cannot, Obi-Wan. I must return to my time when we are finished. The Force will punish us dearly if I stay too long. It was my birthday, you know. The day you died ruined the entire holiday for me. My final gift to you, Obi-Wan. You must not grow attachments, not even to a birthday. Hey, that's kind of messed up. Even my birthday was celebrated every year at the temple. We had chocolate cake and... It was disgusting! I hated having a birthday. It was so cringe. It made me want to never grow an attachment to anything ever again. Yeah, that's interesting, Anakin. Master, maybe we should move on to an interview with Ahsoka. Tell her that the last party she threw for my birthday was cringe. It needed more sand. Let's start with you explaining your duck phase. Oh, uh, I really don't want to talk about that if it's okay. Go on, Ahsoka. You can trust us. Okay, well, I had this time when I wanted to be a duck. Being a Jedi can be hard, and I just wanted to be a duck. Do you still want to be a duck? Usually not. But then, Anakin will ask me to do something weird. Like cover Rex from blaster fire while he goes to save his pet rock. Then I want to be anything but a Jedi. Oh, that reminds me, Master. A few episodes ago, we had a guest, uh, a Jedi from the future. He seems to imply that my pet Ogdo was alive and well. Would you explain that? No need, Obi-Wan. You can simply forget it ever happened. And you, Ahsoka, I want you to stop wanting to be a duck. Whoa, that felt... Weird. What was the question again? Something about a... well... actually, I forgot too. My next question is if you think Anakin's idea to paint all the clone helmets orange, in your likeness, was a good idea. Well, at first I thought it was sweet, if a little bit offensive. But then he said he sent some similar ones to Master Windu's battalion, and now I think it was definitely racially motivated. Does he do this sort of thing often? Well... He's been pursuing a stand-up comedy career lately. He does have a lot of oddly specific and racist jokes. 
He even told me once that it's not racist if it's true. I see. Let's go deal with him personally. Ahsoka, hang tight, all right? We'll be back to give you another turn. A relationship, Anakin? You know that's not the Jedi Code. Uh, you're right, Master. I'm sorry I'll break it off with her immediately. Good. Now, Anakin, Obi-Wan told me that you have a collection of Porg plushies. Porgs are just so cute and fluffy. Who wouldn't love them? You won't, from now on anyway. Um, uh, right Porgs are disgusting creatures. I'm gonna burn all my plushies when I get home tonight. Master Qui-Gon, I believe this has gone far enough. How so, Obi-Wan? This is what you wanted, isn't it? I'm fixing the defects in these two to make them better students and better Jedi. You seem to be just molding them into whatever your idea of a perfect Jedi is. I like these two and their personalities. Hell, I loved them. I just acted out of emotions. They've been so annoying lately, and I wanted a break. It seems you have forgotten your station, Obi-Wan. Let me remind you. Yes, Master, I will follow your lead. Uh, Master Qui-Gon? Ah, Ahsoka is here. How can I help you, dear? By forgetting this whole mission of yours. Oh, my... where am I? What is going on? Just follow me, Master. I'll get you home. Anakin, are you alright? Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Nice to meet you. I'm Anakin. And you are? Oh, dear. I think Master Qui-Gon erased more of your mind than he intended. Who is that? And where am I, by the way? And what's this? Whoa, whoa, put that away, Anakin. What are you... Oh, sorry, dude. I didn't realize it would do that. Master, do you think I should grow a beard? What are you... Wait, you can grow facial hair. Yes, I'm not a little kid. Well, if you did, you'd just look like a baby who's got it taped on. Still would look better than whatever you got going on. All right, Ahsoka is back. That was quick. I just grabbed the first person I saw. She doesn't strike me as a Sith Lord or someone who wants to erase our minds. So I figured she'd make an interesting guest. What in the criff is going on here? I, I demand you return me at once. Ahsoka, what on Tatooine have you done this time? And who is this young lady? You know, you do look like a spitting image of Padme. I'd smash. There's been some sort of mistake. My name is Leia Organa. I'm your daughter. That's quite the imagination you've got there, kid. I don't have a daughter. Anakin, your wife is pregnant. That doesn't mean she's gonna have a baby, stupid. That's exactly what that means, Anakin. What did you think it means? Uh, that she was constipated and wouldn't be able to poop for a few months? We've met that Darth Vader guy, so that must be who you're thinking of when you imagine your father. I'm sorry you think of me that way. When you met your future self, didn't you say, can't wait, bro? What? Those dark side cookies sound amazing. I suppose I can stick around. For Luke, I'm sure he would find a story about you, Jedi, to be interesting. Who is Luke? My brother. And yeah. Another one of Anakin's children. Wow. I guess Padme is going to have a really big poop. Do you really think that's all that babies are? Well, my mother told me babies just happen, without a cause. How was I supposed to know that Padme would get pregnant when we... Don't really want to hear about how I was conceived. Sorry, this must be kind of traumatic for you. Well, what do you want to hear about, daughter? It feels so special to be able to say that. I always knew I'd want a daughter. You're a disgrace. You torture me and murder millions, no, tens of millions, and you have the audacity to speak to me as if I'm a loved one? I, I'm i sorry, but, but that wasn't me, and it won't be me, ever. I knew my father was as dense as a loose asshole, but I never imagined he was this brain dead. Hey, my brain is alive and well, and my asshole is very tight, Obi-Wan says so. I said you were tight wound as a thermal detonator, Anakin. Same thing. I never got the chance to meet my mother. Can you really get her? I'd love to meet her. Of course. She's just a block away. Be right back. Ah, Padme. How are you doing, dear? Well, I was having a pretty rough day, and then Ahsoka shows up, violently rips me out of bed, and throws me onto your show, so I'm doing terribly. Whoa. You're so beautiful. Uh, who the hell is this bitch? Are you cheating on me, Anakin? Trying to flirt with other women, are you? Uh... Whoa. Ahsoka, did you not tell her? Uh, no. I thought it should be a surprise. Why the hell should it be a surprise? You're all fucking useless. All right, back up. Who are you? I'm your daughter from the future. Wow. My daughter. Is your name Leia? Please, tell me your name is Leia. Yeah, it's Leia. Why? Good. Anakin always wanted to name our daughter Sky Giggles, and I would have killed him right here and now if he did. Well, that sounds like a cool name. Why not Sky Giggles? See, Padme, even she thinks it's a cooler name. Really? Sky Giggles Skywalker and you... Anakin, shut up. I'm still mad at you. 
What? What did I do? You know, the whole fiasco with that Gungan dildo.、Uh, I thought you liked it. It was made from a literal Gungan tongue, Anakin. That's so gross. Okay, okay. Maybe we should give the mother and daughter some privacy, right, Anakin?、Uh, hold on. You always said you thought Jar Jar was hung and wanted. I said I wanted to watch him hang because he's an idiot who got Palpatine in office. Really didn't sign up for this conversation, you know. Yeah. Sorry about that. He's usually a bit less chaotic. Are you joking? Anakin's more tame now than he's ever been on this show. He reminds me a lot of Han, actually. And now I think I'm gonna throw up. Well, Leia, I never got to properly ask my question for you. Oh, of course, Kenobi. What do you want to know? Usually, I don't like to ask about the future, but I'm still trying to figure out what really happened to this Ogdo pet I had when I was a child. See, this guest we had on a while ago. Oh, come on, really, Master Kenobi? It's fucking dead. Get over it. I love that thing more than my own son. You had a son. I do not have a son. Oh my God! You have a son. Obi Wan has a son. This is news to me too, actually. I bet I know whose it is too. Well, my first guess is Quinlan, but since you guys are saying that babies aren't poops, I'm assuming he wouldn't be able to have one. Anakin, you get stupider every time I talk to you. And you love me for it, honey. You aren't going to try and kill anyone, are you? Why would he do that? It's sort of what he does at the end of every video we make. Why am I even surprised? That's exactly the sort of behavior I'd expect from Darth Vader. Go on, then, you coward. Kill someone and prove yourself to be a cold-blooded killer. It's not like that, but of course I'm going to kill someone. And everyone knows the thing I love to kill the most is children. But unfortunately, none are here right now. So I'll have to settle for the next best thing: women. No, Anakin. Not unless you want me to make you bathe in sand again. But. No buts, Anakin. Lightsaber off right now, or you're in big trouble. Don't make me count to three. Good boy. Wow, you really do a good job at taming him. Well, I have my fair share of experience with this unstable lunatic. I can't say this is how I ever imagined my beloved parents. You're all so weird. Can I leave now? Yeah, I'll show you back to your portal. Padme, how would you feel about becoming a regular on our show? You mean like joining you three in every episode? Oh yes, please, Padme. Please, please, pretty please, with a mailorn on top. All right, fine. I'll do it if I can get away from my duties in the Senate. Yay! Good. Maybe you can keep Anakin in control from here on out. All right, I'm back without incident, and wow, for once I'm not walking into a disaster. Guess what, Soaps? Padme is joining the series as a regular. I spoke too soon. So Obi Wan, I found something in your bedroom the other day. Uh, what did you find, Anakin? I think you know. Do you really want me to say it in front of the ladies? Ooh, we got some spicy stuff going on already. Do you really have to confront me about this first thing on the show? What did I ever do to you? Well, don't leave us hanging. What was in Obi Wan's bedroom? Well, Snips, it looks like our favorite master has been smoking death sticks on his time off. What I do on my time off is none of your concern. I could give you plenty of stories about the things this one wants to do in his time off, but it would probably make you never speak to him again. I mean, I've accepted that Anakin can't go a week without killing someone, so I doubt anything you say would make me. Even if I tell you about the time when he wanted to bring some younglings into. Okay,、uh, shut up now. I was just trying to have an innocent little intro where we make some light-hearted fun with Master Kenobi. That's pretty rough, Anakin. Even I know the younglings are off limits in the bedroom. Wait a minute. No, not like that. I just wanted to kill some of them. It's the only thing that gets me going. You really think that's any better? Isn't this great, Master? We've both got our wives here at the same time, and I'm third wheeling again, as usual. Technically, Snips, you're fifth wheeling this time. Satine isn't my wife; she's just a good friend. But I must admit, it's lovely to see you again, my dear. I always thought we'd have more time, Ben, but I suppose the galaxy is a cruel place, and it took me from you too soon. For you, darling, I'd move the stars themselves. Ah, she's just a really good friend. With benefits, I wasn't that bad, Satine. You were a horny little kid chasing me down. I had to put on socks to keep you from drooling. Ah, I knew Obi Wan was obsessed with feet. See, Snips, this is why I always insisted you wear socks when we met with him. An attraction to feet is completely natural, Anakin, like your attraction to murdering younglings. Not sure that one is natural, but okay. Oh, what a sweet story! Too bad it was bred out of a foot fetish. Anakin, you don't have a right to be making fun of Obi Wan for fetishes. You like getting pegged up. The still here, by the way. Also, I'm a child. Don't need to be having that conversation with me around. Uh, 
Right. Sorry, Ahsoka. Maybe we should change the topic. Ahsoka can handle a little suggestive language, Padme. She's seen much worse than she can hear. That is true. I have a lot of trauma. Don't we all? Some more than others, however. Obi-Wan told me about Anakin's upbringing. A slave on Tatooine. Horrific. I don't really like to talk about that, Duchess. Oh, of course. I'm sure it's many difficult memories. Lots of sand. So much sand. Can't go one video without mentioning that, can you? You don't understand. It's not just something I can get over. Duchess Satine, I'm sure Master Kenobi meant well. He doesn't strike me a thief. You don't know him like I do, Padme. That man is ferocious. I've caught him stuffing my socks in his robes on at least seven occasions. Oh, my. Obi-Wan, you dirty dog. I saw a sock drawer in his bedroom, too. Didn't think much of it until now. But it did have a lot of oddly sized and colorful socks in there. You're so full of shit, Anakin. It's one thing to confront me about something, but to just make up blatant lies is another. Remember, Obi-Wan, don't fight back. You must pacify your enemies with kindness. That's not how they... Do you trust me, Ben? I... I do. Then ignore them. Oh, get off your high horses. Don't act like you two don't dabble in some drugs on occasion. I have never done drugs in my life. Really? You told me that's what you were doing that day I caught you in the Jedi Council Room. Well, we were actually just stuffing whoopee cushions under all the seats. Ah, so it was you two who did that. Master Windu swore he'd personally de-rank whoever did it if he found out. Then it's a good thing you won't tell him. Maybe I will. Seems like good leverage against you. Poor Annie. Now we've all got dirt on you. That's your own fault, Sky Guy. You shouldn't have told them the truth. Observe, Ben. This is how you deal with nonsense questions like these. <clears throat> Don't care, didn't ask. Cry about it. Cope, seethe, and mauled. Wow, I should really try that out. Try what out? I don't get it. Don't care, didn't ask. Cry about it, cope, seethe, mold. I fucked your mom last night. Also, here's your IP. Ah, oh, very good, Ben. I like the extra spice. Uh, Obi-Wan, my mom is dead. Well, then I fucked her corpse up top. Well, that wasn't very nice. Cope, Padme. Now you come with me, Ben. I've got a gift for you. I like the sound of that. I don't like this version of Master Kenobi. Yeah, I'm supposed to be the unhinged one. I got an idea, guys. Remember last episode, when Obi-Wan let it slip that he has a son? Uh, yeah, but what are we supposed to do about that? I think I know who the son is. Do you know a kid named Corky? Yeah, we do. Ahsoka actually taught him on Mandalore a while back. Right. What about him? You think he's the son? Well, she says he is her nephew, but her only sister is Bo-Katan, and she's like 19 or something. And Corky is like 14 or something. Ew, she had a baby at just five years old. With Obi-Wan, no less? That's disgusting. No, Anakin. I'm saying Satine is the mother, not Bo-Katan. Oh, so she's a dirty little liar. Corky is Obi-Wan's son. We should get him here on the show. Ahsoka, where have you been? And who have you brought here? It's already pretty crowded. Ah, Auntie Satine, there you are. Ahsoka told me you needed my help. I... Uh, what is the meaning of this, Ahsoka? Well, I believe I can answer that. Corky, did you know that these two right here are your biological parents? So you're telling me that Auntie Satine is really... my mother? How dare you bring these vile accusations to me here! Sure, sure. Look, Duchess, you don't have to lie anymore. I'm not lying. Corky is not my child. He's my sister's son. Nice try, Satine. But your sister Bo-Katan is only like five years older than this one. The math ain't mathing. Cope, Padme. Oh, Ben, my dear, there's a time and place for that type of pacifism. This is not the time. So, Corky, how about you meet your dad? You always told me I never had a father, Auntie. <sighs> you don't have a father. My sister, not Lady bo but my other sister who doesn't have a canonical name, had you. Wait, so he's a fatherless baby, too? That's what the lady said, Anakin. But, but that's not fair. I'm supposed to be the only person without a father in this galaxy. Having two of them just breaks so many rules. Why are you gatekeeping orphans, Sky Guy? It's not like that. It just, it makes me so angry! Anakin, no! You're not doing this anymore, remember? But he's got no father, and he's a child. That's my thing. I'm supposed to have mommy and daddy issues, not this nobody. Well, that's not very nice. Anakin, don't make me count to three. One. Two. Oh, that does it, mister! Ow! 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 Let go of my ear! Wait, no, is that a sand bath? Please, no, don't do it! Please, Padme, I'm... Remind me never to get on her bad side. Oh, dear, my corky. I don't know. We best throw his body back through the portal, though. If it stays here, it could collapse our entire reality. 
I'm sorry, Master. I didn't think that Anakin would... Don't worry about it. Go ahead and bring Satine back home. I'll put Corky's corpse back where it belongs. I sure hope this doesn't come back to haunt us later. I'm nervous to see who he brings on this time. Yeah, he doesn't have a great track record. Two Sith Lords so far. I'm starting to think he has a problem. Starting to think he has a problem? I'm surprised it's taken you this long. Anakin has a lot of problems, Master. Oh, you're right. I'd be more concerned if he made a normal choice. Uh, guys, you might want to come see this. What's going on, Anakin? Just get in here! Oh, great. What now? What the hell is that? I don't know. The world between worlds looks like it's broken or something. Well, that can't be good, right? What the hell could have caused that? Uh, well, last episode we did make kind of an oopsie. Snips, what did you do? More like, what did you do, Anakin? You killed the guest we pulled from the world between worlds. I had to throw the corpse back through the portal. I guess it didn't like that. So what? It should have liked that. It's like a human sacrifice. Who doesn't enjoy seeing the blood of innocence? What is it with you and murdering people all the time? Trauma, Master. Trauma. Did I hear someone say trauma? Whoa, who the hell are you? Relax, Jedi. I come in peace. I am Revan. Do you know anything about what happened here? Uh, did anyone pull this guy through a portal? Anakin? Nope. Ahsoka, did you pull him? No. How did you get here, uh, Revan? Oh, I don't know. That's kind of what I do. I just show up randomly whenever the fuck I want. I don't have respect for rules even the ones installed by the universe itself. Well, it seems it's not safe to talk here anymore. Do you know somewhere we can go? Follow me, Raven. My name is Revan. Whatever, dude. Ah, I got it. You're that Jedi turned Sith Lord turned Jedi again that helped defeat the old Sith Emperor once. Ah, uh, someone knows their galactic history. Wait, once? I defeated him once and for all. Well, Records show that he came back like three more times and was defeated again by other people. Now that's some bullshit. Ah, uh, this must be the future. I've not heard of any Clone Wars, but you say Anakin killed the Sith Lord, so they're extinct. Well, I suppose so. As long as you don't include Count Dooku, Maul Ventress, and that other Zabrak dude. Always forget his name. It's a shame they continue to pester the galaxy after all this time. But only four of them. I'm sure they're no match for the entire Jedi Order. Well... They're a slippery bunch. And every time I get close, Dooku just spams his Sith lightning like the no-life he is. I hate when he does that. It hurts so much. Well, don't you know force absorption? Um, no, what is that? Seriously, that's like a Padawan-level skill alongside others. You know, uh, battle meditation, healing, astrogation. I have no idea what half those words mean. We have healing? Oh, nah, bro. This shit is whack. Put me back in my time. The Jedi of the future turn into complete weakling pussies. Whoa! Revan, relax on the language there, buddy. We can only use so much of that on the show before Karens in the comment section get mad. I'm Revan. Do you think I give a fuck about your comment section? I can bake, Anakin. Even Cody loves it when I cook. He's just being nice. Because he wants to be in another one of your little videos? How do you know about that? Know about what? The videos we... Oh, never mind. Wait a minute. Are you making videos with Cody? Well, duh, where do you think all the source material for my comedy comes from? I'm confused. What are you talking about? Obi-Wan has an OnlyFans account, obviously. I don't know what that is. Okay, Boomer. Anakin, how would you even know that I have one? Unless... No, it can't be! That's right, Master. I've seen it all. All of it. And not just the men, but the women and the... You, Master, you're subscribed? Of course, and so is half the galaxy. I told you, Snips, everyone simps for Obi-Wan. Simps? What does that mean? Okay, Boomer. Stop calling me that. I don't know what it means. Okay, okay boomer. boomer. When I get home, I'm turning to the dark side again. If this is the future of the Jedi, it ain't worth it. Don't say things like that, Revan. You shouldn't make jokes about turning to the dark side. It's wrong. When did you get so prude, Ahsoka? I talk about killing children all the time and you don't bat an eye. I guess I'm just used to it coming from you, Master. This time period, it's... It's deranged. You're all mad. I can't stand that the galaxy is in such a state as to allow you morons to exist within it. If this is the future I fought for, I should have let the Sith Emperor consume the entire galaxy so it could have avoided all this suffering. We're not that bad, Revan. You come from a time when a literal Sith Empire reigned across half the galaxy. We live in a time of relative peace. At least there's only war happening on a handful of planets and not literally fucking all of them. And if anyone here was a disgrace to their order, it was you couldn't even make up your mind. It's no wonder the Sith hold you in higher esteem than we do. You know, I reckon if we get more Jedi, we could close it if we all used our combined powers. Who needs more Jedi? 
I'm the chosen one. I can handle a little force push. The chosen one? Bullshit. That prophecy is totally fake. Well, he did destroy the Sith Lord, so I'd say he's well on his way of bringing balance to the Force. Can we at least try it with just the four of us? I suppose. Come along then, let's try it out. All right, everybody on three. One, two, three. Well, that did something. At least it looks better. So this is the world between worlds, in all its glory. Yep, you can see past, present, or future. It's pretty cool. Amazing. This power, how did you come to possess it? Oh, not long ago, the Sith Lord tried to get me to give it to him before I stopped him. A true Sith Lord wouldn't make such a mistake. If I may leave you with a final word of advice, Anakin. Trust only in the Force. The Sith Lord may very well still be out there. Well, that just happened. <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, probably nothing. Well, that's that. A well-rounded episode. So, uh, how do we end it? If only there was someone here that did something in every episode to end a video. And we were giving permission to let it happen. Oh, come on, Anakin, I'm tired. Would you just kill someone to end the video? Oh, hell no. I'm not getting another sand bath from Padme. You can't make me! Bruh, then what are we supposed to do now? Ugh, I'm sorry, little one. <laughs> what the? Master, you just killed a child. You're just like me for real. Shut up, Anakin. First one to land a hit. All right, here we go. Aren't you idiots gonna put your sabers on training mode? Ugh, why do I even try? No need for training mode these days, Master. We can just abuse the world between worlds to bring him back. You know, I'm starting to think our abuse of that place is not so good. Nonsense, Master. Power is meant to be used and abused. That's what Anakin taught me. That sounds a lot more like a Sith's teachings than that of a Jedi. Let's go get him back from the world between worlds. Did I win, Master? No, Anakin. You got your ass handed to you on a steaming platter. Oh, well, I let her win. She needed the boost to her ego. Whatever you say, come on, let's meet back with Ahsoka. Oh dear, not this again. The world between worlds is shaking again. I don't think we fixed it last time. Ahsoka, are you okay? Ahsoka, where are you? She must have gone back. Let's just meet her back in the real world. I can't believe this. Idiot. Uh, what are you talking about, Ahsoka? Who is this? All right, I feel like I should be asking the questions here. Are you all supposed to be Jedi? What are you... No, I was trying to pull my future self from a portal and then it all started shaking and this Mandalorian guy got in the way. What the hell, man? Why'd you jump in front of Ahsoka? I, I have literally no idea what you're talking about. How are you, Ahsoka? I was just talking with her. Future self, Mando, you're in the past. His portal closed right up as soon as he left it. What a joke. <laughs> what the? Grogu, how did you get here? He was on your back when I grabbed you. Ugh, well, I guess we'll have to deal with this guy for the episode. Right. Anyway, so I guess I'll make some introductions. I'm Ahsoka, this is Anakin, and this is Master Obi- Anakin, what are you doing? Oh, uh, sorry, Master, I'm just, uh... Turn the lightsaber off, Anakin. Oh, sorry. And you're supposed to be from the past? Yeah, how are you not getting this? It's just, your, uh, your leku are like the same size. Whoa, dude, it's not okay to comment on a lady's leku size. Ahsoka, it seems you've got the most offensive nerf herder you could find. Guys, relax. I appreciate you defending my honor, but he's right. It had me confused at first, too. Right, I meant no offense. I just thought that your species' head tails grew larger over time. Who knows? Maybe I got a disease that made them shrink. Like Anakin's balls in the cold. What the fuck, Master? Sorry, you're right. It was low-hanging fruit. The name is Din, but you can call me Mando just fine. Most people do anyway, even though it's kind of racist. <laughs> It's racist to say Mando? Kind of, but it's like a nice racial slur, little insensitive. It's like calling you Jedi. The kids of the future are such snowflakes, huh? Next thing I know, calling me a Jedi master would be a racial slur. One look at you, kid, and I can tell you're no master. So, what were you up to, Daddy? I mean, Daddy, I mean, Din... Sorry. Oh, it's okay. I get that a lot, actually. Oh, that's a relief. Yeah, I guess having a child makes people subconsciously recognize your paternal nature. Uh, right. That's what I meant. But anyway, I was in the middle of raiding some kind of compound with, well, with you. Well, that would be a first. Yeah, I like firsts. Good or bad. They're always memorable. Weird, but okay. No. No, that's not what I...
It was supposed to be funny, like a joke. You know jokes? I don't get it. What's so funny about that? It's not funny if I have to explain the joke. It's not funny if I don't understand the joke. Not my problem, kid. You know, it's a mystery to me why bo sent me to find you of all people. I guess all the hot MILFs in that area know each other. You realize he's like 30 years old, right? He's probably older than you. He's 50, actually, but he's definitely still a baby. No, he's definitely fully conscious. He just acts like a baby for attention. He can probably even talk already. Well, I don't think he's stupid, but he's still a baby. If you want to keep babying an old man, go for it. Whatever gets you going. <coughs> right back at you, you little womp rat. If he's 50 now, that means you're only, what, 20 years into the future? I guess that's how math works. Hey, Din, don't be a bantha cock. Anakin is just a little slow with this kind of stuff. Uh, sorry, no offense, man. Little taken, Mando. This is the way. Oh, boy, another cult. We can't really say much about that, can we, Snips? I mean, we're Jedi, basically a cult of our own. I'm not even allowed to get bitches under our creed. That's hardly stopped you, Anakin. Master Windu would still have you expelled for that if he could. Pretty much everyone knows, but nobody gives a shit anymore. Half the council is getting laid on the regular, and the other half is brain dead. The Mandalorians are not so quick to give up on our ideals. I genuinely believe that the Creed is my right way to live. Your baby's so cute. Can I hold him? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, who's a cute little baby? You are. Yes, you are. You got such big whittle ears. Oh, just like Master Yoda's. Yes, oh, so cute. This feels out of character. Sky Guy, maybe you should give the baby back before you get any ideas. What? Just because I enjoy killing children from time to time doesn't mean I'm gonna kill this one. You enjoy killing children, what the fuck? He has some problems. We're trying to work it out in therapy. Give the baby back, Anakin. Ugh, all right, little guy. I'm gonna miss those whittle big ears of yours, but let's hope they help you glide. Catch! <coughs> oh, great. What is wrong with you, Anakin? You ask me that so much, Master. It might as well be your catchphrase. Shut up, Anakin. You say that a lot, too. Though for good reason. Mando, I'm sorry I threw your baby. Can you come down from there? No way. You're fucking weird, all of you. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Don't blame you. But, actually, your portal kind of closed itself, so... We'll just find a similar one for you. That sound good? Whatever gets me the farthest away from Mr. Child Genocide. <laughs> Damn it! Guys, can you come help close up the world between worlds again? The giant crack is back! And it's worse than last time. I'm telling you guys, it's had the taste of blood. It just wants more human sacrifices. Dude, shut the fuck up. We get it. Your entire personality is about killing children. And hating sand, but you wouldn't know that. Can we just close up the crack now? We should really try a sacrifice first. You know what? Your whole attitude just rubs me the wrong way. I'm sure you're all strong with the Force and all that, but you're so arrogant about it. Look, I get it. We all have our flaws. And Anakin here had a tragic past that undoubtedly influenced his choices, but that doesn't excuse the damage he caused or the lives he destroyed. That's right, I've heard of you, Skywalker. I'm close with the Sand People on Tatooine. I heard how you massacred an entire village, including women and children. How can anyone justify such brutal actions? And you associating yourself with this bastard makes me lose trust in even you, Ahsoka Tano. Uh, Welp, I can't save you now. He really dug his own grave with that one. What are you talking about? What the? It's Beskar, dumbass. Your lightsaber can't hurt me. What? This is outrageous. It's unfair. <laughs> well, we might as well try that human sacrifice idea of his. Huh, what do you know? I'll see you around, Ahsoka Tano. Did he just go through the same portal as Anakin's body? Yes, that wasn't even the right one. Oh, to hell with it. We'll fix that later. It's not safe here anymore. Let's get the hell out of here. A healthy relationship understands the value of one another's alone time. It's good you finally learned that. Well, mostly thanks to you guys. You guys didn't pull me back out of the world between worlds after I died in the last episode for almost a week. And that gave us all a bit of a break from you. I gotta admit, it was nice. I'm thinking we should get away from him more often. We can start a galactic no Anakin day. Oh, well, I didn't realize you guys hated me so much. Don't think of it like that, Anakin. Think of it as... as if we're taking a vacation all about you. Don't worry, Annie. I still love you. If anything, that week made me realize how much I need you for my life to feel whole. Oh, that's sweet, dear. I love you, too. Wow. I can't believe this. In all my years of study, I, I never thought something like this would be possible. Who's this handsome stud?
going to stop you right there. I don't need this family to get any more incestuous. I'm your son, Luke Skywalker, Jedi Grandmaster. Hey, we've heard of you from your sister. Wait, did you say Jedi Master? Grandmaster. Don't forget the grand. It's important. Oh, boy. Leia told me about the time you all grabbed her. I've been waiting for the day you'd find me for years. These mysteries of the Force, they fascinate me. Yeah, the Force can be cool and all, I guess, but is it really fascinating? Get a load of this, nerd. Maybe you should listen to him, Anakin. If you were more like Luke, maybe you'd become a master, too. Maybe you should gargle my balls. Get off his back, Master Kenobi. Anakin means well. It is pretty great to be a Jedi Master. I'm even thinking of retiring to an island planet someday when I've finished my mission. It would be great to feel the sand between my toes. Yeah, no, this is absolutely no son of mine. Ahsoka, you've been awfully quiet. Uh, well, Luke, did I ever tell you about Ahsoka Tano? Yeah, barely legal in most systems. What? What, that's what you told me. Nice to meet you, Luke. I'm Ahsoka, your dad's Padawan. Well, damn, Ahsoka. You sound like a completely different person. Uh, yeah, that Mandalorian guy last episode said as much, but you know me in the future? Yeah, you came over to the new Jedi Temple with me. You were quite the help. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. I knew my grandmother was a slave, but I never figured my uncle and aunt to be slave owners. It'll trick the best of us. Didn't you know even Obi-Wan owned slaves? Ahsoka, what the fuck? No, I did not. You didn't? Then why does Windu call you master all the time? Ahsoka, I'm going to pretend I didn't just hear you say that. Don't make such accusations. I don't even think Anakin would say something like that. I wouldn't. Jokes like that are off limits for me. I may make the occasional racist comment, but I'm not going to accuse Obi-Wan of such behavior. All right, relax. I get it. I was just trying to be funny. I don't know, like lightsabers or something? I've been really wanting to try this new lightsaber whip idea Hu Yang told me about. Whoa, Ahsoka, don't say that. I'm getting Watto flashbacks. When I knew you, you looked like you were ancient, but here you look like a newborn in comparison. If you think Obi-Wan looks young now, I can't imagine how old he must look in the future. I'll have you know I have a killer skincare routine, and I change my robes often. I just, like, the same colors is all. Luke, have you done anything weird lately? Like what? Like, I don't know. Commit any war crimes, make any bizarre friends, kiss the wrong girl. How did you know about that? Did Leia tell you? Why would she tell you that? Whoa, kid, relax. What are you talking about? I was just trying to tease you. So, she didn't tell you? Tell me what? Nothing. Forget about it. You can't just leave us hanging like that, kid. Can you stop calling me a kid? Uh, I'm a Jedi Grandmaster. You should treat me with some respect. Whoa, okay, geez. Hit a nerve there. You act like you kissed your sister or something. Uh, Luke? What have you guys been doing to this place? We've just been abusing it to bring people back from the dead after I killed them. How many times have you done that? Uh, what episode are we on? Oh, for crying out loud, can you just tell us what we can do to fix this, Luke? Look, relax. Just send me back and pull me out in a few years when I have time to study it. I'll have an answer for you. Okay, I trust you, son. Good luck. May the Force be with you. Well, he is a Skywalker, so I'd say the odds are about 70-30. In his favor, right? Oh, no, Snips. No. That's not helping. Let's see. Ah, this should work. Ah, uh, what the hell? Whoa, it's you. How? No, you idiots. It's too late. What? What's going on? I can't help you anymore. I'm cut off from the Force. Get someone else to pick your battles. What are you talking about? You said you'd help us. Maybe throw another body into it. I'm going back to suck on some Thala Siren titties. Oh, great. What do we do now? We do as Luke says. Was that really necessary? Hey, he sacrificed me last time. It's only fair. See, it worked just fine. The crack is repaired. Kind of. You're killing again? Then you know what, Anakin? You deserve a sand bath. Padme, no, I promise it isn't like that. Please, no, I won't. Oh. Guys, I'm back from the world between worlds. You should have seen this poor girl. She was on Tatooine, in the middle of all that sand. I had to save her. Uh, hi. Who are you? I'm Anakin. You're smoking hot, by the way. Uh, thanks. Really, Anakin? You're married. I can still appreciate a person's beauty, Master. I'm Ahsoka. This is Obi-Wan. Who are you? Oh my goodness, you're all Jedi. Legendary Jedi at that. I'm Rey. Rey Skywalker. Skywalker? Oh great. Why am I sexually attracted to all of my... Well, you're not my child. I only have two that we know of. So what are you? A granddaughter. This is amazing. I love meeting my family. Well, not exactly. I'm not your blood. I took the name because I wanted to honor my masters. I never really had a family. Oh. 
That's unfortunate. I thought you were a real Skywalker. What were you doing on Tatooine? It's not a place you should be going to for a vacation, I imagine. It was kind of the last stop in my journey. I just built my new lightsaber, so I didn't need my old one anymore. I buried it in the desert. Whoa, whoa, you buried a lightsaber in sand? Yeah, and actually, I think it might have been yours. Or Luke's, but yours before his. Anakin, are you okay? Should we get- I'll fucking kill you! I'll gut you like the fucking raw- Anakin, calm down! Let me at her! I'll fucking kill you! I've never seen him so angry. Your days are numbered, girl. They're fucking numbered! Let's restrain him, quick! I- I'm sorry. I didn't think that- It's not your fault, dear. You couldn't have known. Ahsoka, give him the pill. Open up, Anakin. No! You can't make me! Let me go! I want to tear the flesh from her bones! If you don't take this medicine right now, I'm calling Padme and we'll see how she handles it. Come on, Anakin, just do it. Fine. Uh, I'm sorry, Ray. Got a little carried away there. It's all right. I didn't realize you felt so strongly about that. I was just trying to honor my masters. They even looked at me with approval as force ghosts. It's just, why on Tatooine? Why not somewhere nice, like Alderaan? I love that planet, and my daughter grew up there. Uh, well, about that? Oh, or Ilum. It's like the Jedi Sanctuary, where we all got our kyber crystals. It would be kind of poetic. Uh, yeah, about that, guys. There's also this really nice place in the Hosnian system I visited one time. I think I want to be laid to rest there. Better than a slave planet. Okay, now you're just messing with me. Why? What do you mean? Those planets don't exist anymore. Any of them. They were all destroyed by the First Order, or the Empire before it. Destroyed? How can a planet be destroyed? I mean, technically, we're the ones who destroyed Ilum. Okay, why the hell would the good guys destroy a planet, much less one that is sacred to the Jedi? Well, the First Order turned it into a planet killer. It was either Star Killer Base or another system. I'm the Jedi Master here. You're a Jedi Master? Seriously? Aren't you the guy who went viral on the Holonet because of that video of you shaving your ass? Uh, I, I don't know what you're... Uh, no comment. There's no way. Ray, show me the link right now and I'll forgive you for everything. I'm pulling out my holodeck. Uh, yeah, it should be titled Sexy Bearded Stud Gets His Butt Shaved by an Exotic Clone Trooper. Don't ask how I know that. You, how did that go viral? I don't know. Somehow it escaped all the NSFW filters. Oh my Lucas, here it is. Ahsoka, you have to see this. She really doesn't. Oh wow, Cody really got in there. Anakin, shut that thing off. We're supposed to be making a video. A video, huh? You want me to get the razor and recreate the scene? I'm serious. I'll do it. Well, there's a lot more to life than just killing younglings. Uh, not really. It's the only thing that gets me going. You should try it. A real Skywalker would. I find your lack of imagination disturbing, Anakin. Hey, that's my line. There's a saying that goes, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Yeah, and there's a saying that goes, I'll fuck your mom. Right back at you, Anakin. You know my mom is dead. I said what I said. Is this really what the Jedi of the past were like? Yeah, you got a problem with that, Ray? Not exactly. I'm just a bit disturbed, to be honest. Not the conversation I was expecting. Well, you don't want to grab anyone too old. They grow attachments and become erratic and dangerous, like Anakin. Hey, I'm not erratic or dangerous. Uh, didn't you try to kill me a few minutes ago? You had it coming. Okay, noted. No older recruits. Maybe you could have some. But make sure to properly vet them first. I don't even think the Council wanted Anakin to join the Order in the first place. Master Qui-Gon talked them into it. I wish you could have met him, Ray. He'd appreciate your dedication to the cause. I appreciate that. I really do want to help the galaxy and the future of the Jedi. Jeez, what's with all the Skywalkers of the future being such fucking nerds? You think so? What's with the Skywalker of the past being such a whiny loser? Careful there, Ray. You don't want to upset him. I think I can handle myself. I think you can choke on this lightsaber. I'll have you know I can choke on it, and I'll be just fine. Uh, what? Yep, I don't even have a gag reflex. That came out wrong. My point stands. You don't want this saber going down your throat. You wanna go? Let's go, tough guy. You and me. <laughs> oh, what the hell, man? There, now you don't have a hand. You're happy. Now you're really a Skywalker. Thanks. I guess, shit, did it have to hurt so much? Hey, you trusted me with the codes to that missile launcher the other day, and how did that turn out? Anakin, you killed 13 innocent people. Exactly, only 13 people. You should be proud. That's progress. And none of them were children this time. It's sad we've set the bar so low. 
Okay, guys, he's agreed to come down and help with your problem. Here I am, on request of the Senator. Take note of this, young Jedi, for I do not plan to indulge in your games. Understood, Master Yoda. It's an honor to have you with us today. Pocket sand! Ow, oh, what the hell, Padme? My adieu, that was. To keep you in check, Skywalker, Pocket Sand, your wife now has... That's... but that's not my wife. What do you mean by that? Padme isn't my wife. She's just a... Throw more of it at him, please. With pleasure. Okay, stop! Ow, I'm sorry, I'll knock it off! Seriously, Padme, that's enough sand! Ow! How has your day been, Master? My day, yes. A day I have had. Sitting around and meditating. Lots of which I did. Do you do that a lot, Master? All I ever fucking do, it is. She's got a point, Master. I know the Sith Lords were gone, but from what Anakin has told me about the Force and corruption, the dark side isn't an exclusive thing to the Sith. Yeah, like I know Force choking is supposed to be evil. But if that's the case, then why does it feel so good when I do it while Padme is so- Dark Jedi, I have seen rise and fall. A terrible thing it is. To witness. Yes, most recently your own Padawan, Count Dooku, fell to the dark side. Yeah, imagine that. Losing a Padawan to the dark side? Super cringe. Shut up, Anakin. Obi-Wan gets fed up with us a lot, too. He even started doing death sticks. Really, Anakin? In front of my boss? So what? All the Jedi Council members are on some sort of hardcore drug. Harun, your former master Qui-Gon Jinn. Addicted to it, he was. Huh. That explains a lot about that trip to Tatooine, then. What do you mean by that, Padme? Master Qui-Gon looked really flushed. Watery eyes scratching his arms. You know, the usual. This is ridiculous and slanderous. I know my old master, he did no such thing. Quit he has by that point. But as a Padawan, begin to that shit he was. That's horrible, but I'm glad he got clean. Yes, a long and difficult journey it was. Helped me get off of ketamine, he did. You were into ketamine? Unfortunately, yes. A dark period of my past, it was. Get back into it. Hopefully I do not. Left my entire stash in a cave on Dagobah. I did. You remember where you left your drugs? What if you relapse? That could be dangerous. A lesson on danger I do not need from you, genocide boy. Lost many droid companions I have. Hmm. Skill issue? No, you. Also grow some fucking hair. Loser. Master Yoda, I've always been curious, so I have to ask you this. What is the name of your species? Sensitive information, that is. Oh, come on, Master. You have to tell us eventually. Like what you hear, you will not. Please, Master Yoda, we won't tell anyone. Yeah, we'll even bleep it out in the editing. Please? Fine. Tell you the name of my species. I will. Whoa, Master what, Yoda, the what the hell, That's man? Not okay. As you did. Your own fault. This knowledge is. Know the truth now. You do. I never expected it to. Well, for it to be that. I think I'm going to throw up. Me too. Wait up! You guys are such pansies. It's just a word. <laughs> is just the name of his species. Oh, now I'm feeling a bit sick. Understand the issue. I do not. Just a word it is. They don't appreciate racial humor, Master. But I do, so you don't have to worry about me, my Good to know. At least I have you, young Skywalker, as my I'm honored that you would call me that, sir. Shut the fuck up and pay attention. This is why you fail. Okay, Master. What do we do now? Told you. I did. You stupid bimbo. Reach out. Reach out with your mind and feel the force. <laughs> is it... is it working? What's that sound? Uh, guys, what's going on? What's happening? I'm... I'm free at last. Padme, no! What's wrong? You were a fool. I think I was done with you, Skywalker. A fool. No, no, it can't be. Stay back, children. Destroy this Sith Lord. I will. You do not understand the matters in which you involve yourself, Master Yoda. No enough, I do. Darth Sidious, you are. And now, this place, this world between worlds, belongs to me once more. Everyone get the hell out of here, quick! We can't just let him win. Fools. All of you fools. <laughs> Run for it! What the hell just happened? Padme, where is she? I don't see her. Gone. Padme is young Skywalker. A lie, she was. Never truly your wife, she was. A lie. 
Fabricated by Darth Sidious. No, no, this can't be. Mm, think on this, I will. Dangerous the task ahead of us is. How did he do this? How did Palpatine somehow return? Well, don't say that. At least we foreshadowed it. Well, my apprentice, it turns out that now I am immortal. And I have no need of you. So, you can start by accepting your fate and dying. Uh, well, that was a short-lived guest. Hm. Now that I have control of this talk show, what should I do? Oh, right. It's just me. Let's see. Oh, to hell with it. I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Master, how did I end up here? What happened? Oh, nothing. It was just a practical joke. Yes, well, let's begin. Ugh, fine. Go after them. Gonna give me some advice. I'm the one who's the Sith Master here. I may need assistance, my lord. My assassin, the Sedge Ventress, should be more than capable. Whatever, bring your wannabe Sith with you. Why don't we ask this guy over here? Hey, buddy. Uh, what are you doing, citizen? Get to your residence. You're well out past curfew. Whoa, whoa, sorry man, I just thought, sexy voice by the way, what are you? Is that clone trooper armor? I'm the one asking the questions here, buddy. In case you hadn't noticed, I have the blaster. Sir, we'll get out of your hair if you would just be so kind as to tell us what year it is. Hey, TK-21, get over here. Get a load of these geezers. They want to know what year it is. Think they know anything about the Jedi in this area? Damn, what's with all the sexy voiced soldiers around here? You will tell us where we are. We will tell you where you are. You're on Kobo, 16 cycles after. It's the Jedi! Run for your lives! Oh my, Lucas. It's you guys. What are you doing here? Is that Cal Testicles? It's Kestis. We lost control over the world between worlds. Darth Sidious came back somehow and... Gloss over the details. We should. Important. We return and stop him once. And for all, it is. Look, I may have something, but... If it doesn't work, maybe I can reach someone in the hidden path to help you guys. I'm sure some Jedi out there knows something about it. Well, I guess I trust Cal Kistasickle to find something. Not like we have a choice. I might know something about it. Whoa, it's Daddy. I mean, Din! Contain it, sugar. I'm not here to make pleasantries. I've been stuck in this time period for weeks since you sent me through the wrong portal. Sorry about that. It was kind of an accident. Another fuck-up you three had. Unsurprised by this development, I am. Holy crap, who are you? Oh shit, Grogu. Get it away from me, you must. Holy shit, you're like an old man Grogu. This is Master Yoda. He's the Jedi Grandmaster of our order. Not your father, am I? Prove it, Yadla could not. Child support, I could not afford anyway. I'm so confused right now. For once, I agree with Anakin. This child, Yadla claimed it, was mine. But a lie this was, for bitches. I do not get. Look, guys, I've been trying to find a way back to those portals since you dumped me here. My search led me to Cal, too. Great minds think alike, then. Ah, there you are. The Jedi we've been searching for. Who the hell are you? None of your concern, Mandalorian. <laughs> we are lords of the Sith. We can handle these Jedi with ease. Guys, I might have found some... Whoa, what's going on over here? Oh, fuck this. Ventress, I always knew she was a sniveling coward. Huh, now it's seven against one. Seems like you're royally fucked. Ah, oh, poor Grogu. Mando is all burned up. He'll be okay. He just needs Bacta applied to the burns. Help me take off the armor, Anakin. <coughs> Look, Grogu, you're going to need to get off him or he'll die. He's got a creed that says he can't take it off. As much as I'd love to see what's under there. Grogu, said it may be, but die he will. Unless we remove his armor. For the love of Lucas, I said no, bruv. What the fuck? Did Grogu just talk? Yeah, I did talk, you stupid blistering orange. Lay off my dad, I'll just hit him with some force healing, alright? I told you guys he could talk already. Nobody listened. Shut up, old man. I think that Cal guy wanted to talk to you about something anyways. Alright, on three. One. Two. Three. Ow, ow, alright. Stop, stop. My neck. Oh, Luke is my back. Ow. For a lord of the Sith, you're kind of pathetic. I don't need your insolence, child.
Ugh. Now I don't have anyone to help. Ah, fuck this, bro, and... Wait. Why don't we just rule, stupid thing? Ah, it's so much better. Watch your language, BD. He doesn't mean any offense. Forget this. We must. Focus on the doorway to the world between worlds. All right, so how do we get in? You just need someone powerful enough to force it open, like me. That's why we had the gate open in our time. See, that was easy. I sometimes forget how insanely powerful you are. I know, right? It's a good thing I'm not turning evil or anything. Imagine how many more innocent people I could kill on accident. I'd rather not. All right, I'll go get the others. Let's finish this. As soon as Ahsoka is here, everyone do their job. Succeed we will. Know the plan. We do. I'm ready. You ready, BD? No. No, it can't be. How are you back? Uh, no matter. I will destroy you all myself anyway. This party's over. Tough luck, Sith Lord. Not like this, my master. What a pathetic excuse for an Emperor. Another old man for me to beat up? I love killing old Sith farts like you. You can't defeat us all, Sith. Time to end this. You're a dead man, Grandpa. Wait, Grandpa? Uh, forget it. Bad choice of words. You don't know who you're dealing with. I'm more powerful than any of you could ever dream of. You ain't all that, bruv. Prepare to die. This guy is really full of himself, isn't he? We'll stop him, won't we, BD? Your abuse of this place will last no longer. Your time is at an end, Charles Sidious. I always thought you were a creep. I'm going to enjoy this. Everyone, let's end this Sith once and for all. Ah, what the fuck? I can't fucking win the 20 This is bullshit. Ah! Yay, we saved the galaxy again. An excellent execution of the plan. All of you. I must admit, I am impressed. I told you, idiots. He was gonna come back. Why didn't you prepare for this? It all worked out, Raven. You can go back home now. Oh crap, I don't think it worked. Destabilize the world between worlds yes. once more. Everyone, go back to your portals, quick, hurry. What do we do? Where even is our portal? It's over here, jump in. But, but what if it doesn't work? It's going to keep doing this unless we stop it right here and now. No time for games. This is Young Skywalker, come back. No, this is what I was meant to do. I'm the chosen one. I can save the galaxy. Everyone leave now. I'll hold it together. But Anakin... No buts! Snips! Get out of here! Go! <laughs> Alright, Anakin. Let's do this. One last fight. For Padme. Ah, oh, we made it back. But, but Anakin is still gone. It's fine, we'll just go get him back when the... Wait, where's the doorway? Closed it is. Anakin shut the doorway as we left. No more world between worlds. There is. But Anakin, is he trapped in there? Perhaps. Gone Skywalker is. Sacrifice himself to save us, he did. I don't know how to feel. On one hand, he was a genocidal child murderer, but on the other, he was a great friend. And I loved him. At least in the end, he did something good. Hey, what's up, guys? Why do you all look so sad? Anakin, you're alive! What happened in there? Oh, it was pretty weird. I just used the Force and the cracks completely healed themselves. It was literally just what Revan said to do at first, but I just tried a little harder. So what you're saying is that all of this could have been avoided if you'd just actually done your job before? Basically, yeah. Of course, a slacker. Skywalker has always been. Also, I brought Padme back from the dead. Look, I don't know what happened and I don't want to know. Well, I guess Anakin doesn't deserve a sand bath for once. A sand bath? My goodness, that sounds horrific. Who would do something like that to my poor Annie? Um, you did. A few times, actually. I, I would never do something like that. I love Anakin. That's so horrible. I'm so sorry, Annie. Are you okay? 
It's okay, dear. It's just a bit more trauma to add to my collection. I'm just glad you're safe. Oh, a happy ending then. This is. But what about our talk show? How are we supposed to do it without the world between worlds? What do you mean? I can open it back up when we need it. I'll just be a bit more careful and actually close the doors when we aren't using it. So, this is like what? The end of a season? And the start of a new chapter in our lives. Hi everyone, you don't know my voice, but I am Zenger. I'm the one that's creating these videos. And so I thought a fun way to end this kind of recap of season one would be to, I guess, reveal my voice to most of you, because most of you don't know what I actually sound like. Um, so here I am, I am Zenger. I create all these videos. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this compilation of all the, the funniest jokes throughout the series. <laughs> and uh, subscribe, like the video, uh, and if you actually made it this far into the video, comment something about uh, ice cream in the comment section. Alright, well thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later.